guys, welcome to another video and I decided to bring my dog out for a walk. Yeah, we're just near the Plaza Beach, next door to the Pedrich Arena. Shame all this uh, glass is like tossed out, but that's the Nickelodeon Street in this building here. Yeah, we've walked it uh, to here for now, but I thought I'd cut out the uh, boring bit and wait until I get to this section. So we're going to see what the uh, beach is like. But it's actually too bad, I might take him on it for a bit because he's never been on the beach before. But he's definitely getting a nice long walk out of it. He loves his walks, he really does. That would never take him this long before. And I think he probably do a long walk, I don't know. Change. Got the Avalon Shrine just there, which is going into its station. Not sure you can see that. Yeah, I was debating whether or not to come back out, but I thought, ah, you know what, I'll bring him out. So yeah, we're walking on the new pod reach at the moment and we're heading towards the uh, prom. There we go. It's definitely running. Right. Window's a bit dirty, but... I like they don't want you to look in. It's like, oh yeah, we've got road courses here, but we don't want people to look through. There's the infusion ride and the sun's nice glare through. And just ahead, we've got a tram going by. Yeah, well, the camera on up here anyway, and uh, I'll try and get me and my dog across the road. Yeah, we've got South Beach Car Park here now. We're able to just about get across the road safely in one piece. So, yeah, I'll let uh, Jack make. So, yeah, I'll let Jack make his mind up on where he wants to go because. At the moment, since his rose back and everything, he doesn't know quite where he's going. I'm trying to guide him. He's like, no daddy, I want to go the other way. And it's not happening. I know where I want to go, but he doesn't. And, unfortunately, just my luck, the tide's in. Oh, is it? Yep, the tide has officially decided to come in. So unfortunately, probably taking on the uh, beach. 
they'll be getting a problem watching Surfer Beach Walk. And Jack gets to see uh, the big one go for change. Look at that, you get to see a big one. <laughs> I think he must have got it. <laughs> that the air might go on it. <laughs> nah, I think he's a bit small for that to be honest. He'll be better off with uh, Alice in Wonderland or a ghost train. Here you got the infusion ride going up. And I just realised right in front of me that some ladders going up towards that uh, hill section of the big one. That's probably to like maintain the lamp thing for aircraft to play. Yeah, you won't get me good at play. Yeah, before this one. We've walked past my mum's house. Outside the front gate, he was going mad. I thought fine. He was going mad at my mum's house at the front gate because he wanted to get in. But he never does it at his own house. I thought you little horror. <laughs> Yeah, there goes the big one again. I'll see if my dog will be able to catch it or not. Oh yeah. Two four cars, three cars empty. Not too sure why that is. Yeah, class is a video, it's a bit of a bonus video. Now the fun bit is trying to get him. Nah, terrible idea. I was thinking about a picture of him with big one in the background, but uh, he won't stay still, not a chance. Yeah, just look at that sea over there. that rain cloud that I kept on getting my video well it's gone over that way now gone westerly so thankfully today it's going to be absolutely gorgeous day able to see it coming down here.
I'll tell you something, the brain. I'll tell you something. You get a big adrenaline rush on that. Yeah, my dog's here just chilling, enjoying the stroll, enjoying his long walk. <laughs> See how much he loves walks after this one anyway. <laughs> Poor fella. I don't think he's been on one for this long for a long time. I might have thought of taking him on my uh, weekend walks actually. Get two birds with one stone. But it means me not having my uh, bag that I carry about. There's a five where I'm filling his mess up. Yeah, I keep on forgetting I can do uh, stories with my GoPro. I just did one there, like a quick 10 second one. Yeah, it's slowing down a lot, but it's not walking as quick. Okay, it's probably just enjoying the smell of the on the farm. Towards the uh, Hilton Hotel at the moment, and that weather is just absolutely gorgeous. But it's a shame that the uh, season. I find that too many people get away with not picking up after the dogs. It's not good. I'll tell you something. It is that clear. You can see. I think it's the Lake District, is it? That over there in the uh, horizon. I'm not sure. But now you can make out South Pier. That's not hard to miss anyway. You can see the uh, bungee thing going up and down. Water's definitely in. We've got a couple of hotels there along the front. That one over there that's all boarded up, which is for sale. go down this ramp here and we'll be near to the uh, Hampton by Hilton. Well, uh, yeah, my dog's just slow me down a little bit. But hopefully not, not too long.
I think he's just enjoying the air. Uh, smells something around here. So it's been a while since he's had a walk around this area. Yeah, straight away he's uh, onto a little grass hill. <laughs> Definitely wanting to go away where he wants to go rather than. <laughs> he's trying to walk me. <laughs> I don't know, it's the right character. Yeah, we came, <laughs> we came down there and then he ran up onto it. Yeah. Oh, we've had enough now. Jack, come on. Come on. See if he'll go back up on that. Yep, yeah. he is. <laughs> no, that's my car, it's a lot off. It's alright, he's got another sub comment if you <laughs> Crossing here. Yep, yeah, across the road. And we're just outside the Hampton by Hilton Hotel. I think it's definitely starting to feel like the bit. But saying that, it will do many harm. Oh no it won't. Saying that, they might walk out and man, the legs are killing. Feels like I've been walking for the entire week. <laughs> nah, I do enjoy my walk tonight. gets me out and about. It's something that I never thought I'd actually ever do. Doing like videos of walk rounds of Blackpool and doing a bit of vlogging. And we've got these uh, little donation points here for the uh, illuminations. Lit by lit by you. This one's a little bit uh, sun bleached. Yeah, they're only here for uh, they're only here for the illuminations, so then they'll go again. I think that's the uh, hotel for the Hampton by Hilton. Car parked at the rear. And I'll tell you something, my god it's warm. It is a warm afternoon. I'm actually starting to wish I didn't bother wearing my hoodie. Yeah, we just uh, found the slamming place now. Not sure what's going on here, but there's some kids in there messing about. Looks like a, it's closed off for a reason. But obviously, they think that they can. Obviously, 
they think it doesn't apply to them. to go into Clifton Drive I think for these cars to go and we're going to make a cross over and go over House High Bridge This is the uh, Gilwood Lodge nursing home and also they've repaired that, uh, brick, that brick wall which was damaged a while back So yeah I'm not sure what actually happened to it but So I'll be repaired now. So we're going to have a walk up here and go down Highfield Road. So this one, by the time he gets back, he'll probably never walk and go another walk ever again. Yeah, we're quite a bit of way now from Plush Beach anyway. And this. Uh -huh. I think I know how it goes now. Yeah, this footpath here leads down there, so then goes towards Plush Beach. A crossover. There's actually another path, I believe. And that one takes you all the way down to Scribe's Gate. Of which I've never actually walked down there before. Got the uh, Armenian Kebab House across the road. former Highfield Kitchen unit which is now for sale by auction I've just got a bit of a side road here, which go around the block for this uh, charge building. Not too sure what they actually do there. Got a silverfish, golden sea. Yeah, let's uh, carry on up towards Highfield Road.
just down that road that you could probably make out the ice boss about which towers in the distance yeah I'd be interested to see what they actually uh, do out of season around Blackpool after all the seasons are finished yeah I just went on my dog there he's uh, taking his time and enjoying the uh, walk so to speak Marvin's is apparently closed. It used to be the former BM Bargain building though, at one point. And I've got a charity shop here, which is closed for the day. Post office just here. That's the next best across the road. And we've got a carpet store here who deal with carpet, vinyl, and laminate. That could be worth a uh, shout under. My dog's deciding that he's going to do on this officially uh, render building. Grinning Gecko, Vape Store. Well, we've got quite a few things down here for the road. Certainly, uh, nothing that it's a short of anyway. Although a while ago it did used to have a bean and bargain store, which is quite honest. Got plenty of cafes and bars down this area. We <laughs> got Winston's Bistro. Be interesting to see. It's a fish and chip shop here.
Yeah, it's been it's been shut for quite a while that building. It's currently having a refit. Christmas Day, traditional Christmas dinner. Fifty-four ninety-five per person. Considering it is Christmas Day, I suppose they can charge what they want. A Trinity Hospice shop just across the road. Got this uh, nice cafe here. the video feel free to hit the like button hit the subscribe and don't forget to ding dong that notification bell and both me and my dog jack will see you all in the next video that we do so for now take care peace out enjoy the rest of your weekend and enjoy the weather